Now, since I'm planning to do uh, quite a few videos about the homesteading that we've been doing at this property that we moved into last fall, I think it's about time to do a quick tour of what we have going on so far in the property because you'll be seeing much of it. Uh, so this is right next to our garage where I've got to put some work into this. You can see uh, this rock line that I started and I didn't finish it because this happened. I accidentally hit my pinky with one of the rocks, nail fell off. That's not the only reason. I mean, a lot of time has passed since then. And now my mother is coming into town. So the rush is on. I'm going to have to put it on my to-do list to go down to the beach and pick up more rocks to complete this uh, little rock wall I'm building for this garden here. And uh, maybe try to figure out a solution for these little guys who just are not growing whatsoever. Uh, it's been quite the learning experience so far. Uh, here's one learning experience we've had, and that is as beautiful as snapdragon flowers are, we're not going to do it again. Not next year, forget it. Uh, when these ones die in the fall, that's the end of it. Um, too much trouble. Uh, but what I really love is the planters I went to the trouble. Now what you're seeing, these three in a row here, my father built them for me out of scrap material. These are the ones that I uh, built myself using scrap pallets. Uh, so here we've got the potatoes, and if everything's glistening right now, it didn't rain. I just watered everything because it's 27 degrees out, and it's pretty intense. I just wanted to show you some guys. Like, it's amazing how quickly that grew. Now, you might see this. Do you know what this is? Can anybody guess what this is? That, my friends, is Irish Spring Soap. Now, why would I put that in there? Well... My father told me that if I want to keep critters out of there, that's what I had to do. And I did see a couple of squirrels go into my potato patch and rumbling about in the box. And I don't appreciate that given all the work I've put in. And sure enough, Irish Spring is the way. So if you want to keep critters out of your boxes, go buy a bar of Irish Spring, Irish Spring soaps, slice it up and just throw the shards into these planters. So here we've got some peppers, some green peppers. And I'm also growing my beans here. Look at this. Insane, eh? I wish I could get myself my own radio tower. I'm sure I would climb to the top. And then these are the beets. If you uh, checked out yesterday's video, you saw me pluck some of the uh, beets that were on the surface. I'm going to be doing a full video on this later. Uh, it merits a video of its own. That is our compost pile. And we're working diligently away at that. I'm just in the process of turning it right now, but... This is really gonna pay dividends come next summer. Uh, this is the fire pit I built for us because I mean, what's a backyard like this one if you're not gonna have yourself a fire pit? And I'm just sorting through this rubbish because one of the last times I had a fire, it started raining, so I had to pull it out. And what I did was I dumped all of the ash that you see in there, all the wet ash, and I put it into our compost, which is gonna make it even richer. So keep that in mind. Save that ash, never discard it. It's very useful. So here we have the, uh, the carrots. I can't wait until this is ready. Um, I already pulled one carrot up and I'm definitely waiting because right now they're not even fingerlings. They're so thin, even a mouse would struggle to be uh, nourished from that. And you know what? I'll be quite honest. And this is what I'm gonna always be straight with you guys about is the rookie mistakes I make. Um, I've totally lost track. I have no idea what's in there. No idea whatsoever. Here's another rookie mistake. I completely neglected to measure um, what the distance is between the two, so I haven't been able to mow that. You cannot fit the mower between these two boxes, so that's quite the screw up right there. Then we have more potatoes over here, and what I've determined is I've, I know now what I wanna do for next year and I am going to only focus on robust crops. So next year, it's only gonna be potatoes, beets, carrots, and beans. Those are the most robust. Everything else is not quite worked out. But hey, I mean, this is how we learn these things, right? And if I grow enough, you know, I could trade some of my surplus for whatever people want. Now, I wanna show you guys something else uh, that pertains to first times. That Look at this, look at all the shade we have here, right? My original plan, and thank God, sometimes I'm more ambitious than logical. Okay, see the sun line and see the shade line? My plan was to build boxes, two rows of boxes going all along. See where all the shade is? 
Imagine if I had gone through with it, okay? Because when I was doing this, there still were not full leaves on the trees. So as a result, I would have found myself stuck with about maybe 10 or 12 boxes in each row that are completely covered in shade and therefore we are going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Everything in those boxes would have died and all that effort would have been for nothing. So that is the tour of the garden and you're going to be seeing a lot more of it as we go through the harvest of what I've got planted here as well as other maintenance and I'll share with you the tips that I pick up as I continue along in this endeavor.